Jamaica an island paradise, but also one of the most violent countries in the world. Governments of both stripes long unable to get a handle on controlling crime. The Broadcasting Commission, an arm of the Information Ministry, again taking the fight to the airwaves, with a raft of bans directed at audio and video referencing illegal weapons and drug use, as well as scamming. The move affecting free-to-air television, radio and cable. Is the artillery, however, missing the target? TV and radio already heavily self-censored with even edited music now outlawed under the new rules. As for the target audience, largely teens and young adults, in the age of online, most have long abandoned traditional media in favor of their cell phones and tablets. And it's the internet where most of the activity giving the Broadcasting Commission nightmares takes place. Shockingly graphic music videos set to a soundtrack of hymns to murder and mayhem. Jamaica moving on from an era of party garrisons, partisan warfare, and government ministers attending the funerals of known area leaders. But little accountability from those at the top about the role they played in crafting a country out of control. So once more, government seems set on tackling the symptoms rather than the cause. Dancehall music with its finger on the pulse of the streets, a barometer of the times, but also a convenient scapegoat for a political culture that's short on solutions and long on empty gestures and shifting the blame. We have a very hypocritical way of approaching our problems. So you will see some of these very same people who talk about the problems sitting with some of the main contributors to the problems, laughing and drinking and rubbing shoulders and networking with them and then come to the bottom feeder, the licklist man in Panda Totem Polia. The artists were just trying to make a living, we just trying to come out of poverty by saying what is popular. This is popular. Maybe if we get rid of what is popular, then they will sing about whatever becomes popular. Let's make something else popular. But we have to go cut out the news. What am I going to show up on the news? Because the news is jarring. It's these kind of images that come on the news. So they're going to stop showing what's up on the news. They're going to stop showing the murders. Because that's where it is most concentrated. They're going to move it from out of people community. The little girl where I step over dead body, she's going to stop, see that? A sharp lyricist and very vocal on social media, singer Tanya Stevens has seen it all before. I grew up on Banning. There was a time when a man like Admiral B. And I keep saying, Admiral, big up yourself, I love you. Admiral Bailey, because Admiral Bailey music is fun music. It's dancing music, it make you feel good music, and they managed to find things to ban him for in the 80s. And right now, look at we. If banning works, how banning Admiral Bailey give birth to Skeng? Post daggering, what does all of this achieve? Nothing, it achieves nothing. But this is a way for some people to feel like they did something, for some people to be rel relevant, for some people to be current, to occupy this space, because the kids don't know them. This is the only way the kids are gonna know so they exist. Art inspires life and life inspires art. So there's no way for you to look at any one side and blame it. You can't just say the artist's fault. The artist must take responsibility for what they put into their music and what they, they portray with their music. But they're not responsible for crime. You can't just put the, the, the blame for crime at their feet. The Broadcast Commission needs to take a, a step back and look into itself, see what it's been doing over the decades that's not been working and allow the ministries of national security and justice to go to film works. First of all, when they ban um, songs of the ear, children don't even know what that is, the ear. They don't know what's the ear, they know the internet. You know, they know YouTube, they know Spotify, these things. And this is like the last nail in the coffin of original media. What about the Broadcasting Commission? Doesn't it just declare itself to be irrelevant and out of tune? It, it, as the, the more it kills the, the mainstream media, the more it's gonna die with it. It's suicide. Anthony, what they might do is the viewership and the listenership on traditional media gets older and older and older. And it's pure old people going to sit down and listen and watch it now. I swear. And I'm not dissing because I'm getting old. I'm going to be old people too. But the fact is that current, current entertainment cannot cater to old people. It cannot. We have to start going to nursing home, go get with entertainment and stop going to kids' space, go try to regulate it. Right now, when the internet is king, you can't, you, you can't really affect these artists. They're, they're, they're mostly online anyway. 
you know none of these young artists care if they're played on ready if they have a million youtube spins views listen let me tell you what this amounts to it just means some money pull up and go go that's it no song now stop play because the places where people listen to them can't be affected by this ban. So money pull up just go go up. That's it. And the, the on air DJs just need to start go dance and get their money pull up money. That's all. All I can say is good luck to you getting content now. Because the, there are, there's no shortage of content, but content that people actually want to see. Most of the people who think they deserve to be on your program, nobody wants to see them. So good luck. <laughs> So any edited song which directly or indirectly promotes scamming illegal drugs, illegal or harmful use of guns or other offensive weapons, jungle justice or any form of illegal or criminal activity. This includes live editing and original edits, <laughs> as well as the use of near sounding words as substitutes for set offensive lyrics, expletives or profanities. <laughs> To be clear, the broadcast of a sampling of any song which promotes or glorifies scamming, illegal drugs, example, Molly, illegal or harmful use of guns or other offensive weapons, jungle, ju what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The monotone drones on and on and on. This is 2022? <laughs> yeah, but some people haven't got here yet. This is sent to us from the past. <laughs> Big up yourself, Cardell, coming to us from 1865. It took a long time getting here, and it's going to take real effort. Forget out of here. We need to have a conversation. We need to engage with critical thinking skills and stop put on these band-aids for these amputations. It's foolishness. This is not going to work. What is going to work? I don't know, maybe I don't have the answer, but I could sit down and discuss it so that we can arrive at an answer in our real way. The Broadcasting Commission's Executive Director Cordell Green did not return our calls.